okay so let's get started with our first topic here so just let me give some introduction to the contents what exactly we do here so initially we start with ip addressing that is what we'll do in this class here and once we have some basic understanding on ip addressing and the versions we get into some advanced ip addressing we call it as subnetting and then we'll we'll have some basic understanding on OSI reference model and tcp ip models uh, how exactly the these models describe the network communication so then we can get into some introduction to routers where we'll see what is a router what are the different components of the router different ports of the router and how the connectivity is established different models of the routers and then we see some different modes of the routers with including some basic commands so mostly here in this part we'll start our labs where we'll we'll get into the command line of the router some basic commands like assigning the passwords and doing some basic verifications so once we have some very good understanding on basic commands we probably move to the wan connectivity wan technologies which are used for providing a wan connection between two or more different locations like if you remember just we discussed in the previous uh, video over there we discussed that if you have a branch office here in in one location let's say in uh, in in site one you have another branch office in the site two so we need to have a routers connected on both the sides and we need to provide a connectivity from router to switch and then we need to provide a connection from router to router so mostly we deal with what are the different types of WAN technologies and this is something given by the service forwarder. so we'll see those WAN technologies after that so once we understand the different types of WAN connections and the different types of technologies which can be used for providing the WAN connections next thing we get into some basic IP address configurations and then uh, frame relay introduction to routings so the main part starts here where we see uh, routing and then we'll see static routing dynamic routing default routing again in the dynamic there is RIP EHR VOSF protocols we'll see more in detail on that and then access list network address translation and then we get into some more switching concepts here these are all relating to switching concepts and then some reduction to IP version 6 and finally we'll see uh, password reverting on routers and then backup and restore on the routers so it's a big big list of topics so but anyway you get some more better idea once we get into these different types of technologies initially so don't worry so probably we'll get into more in detail about all these technologies so now the first topic we are supposed to start with something called ip address so let's get started <coughs> with ip address here so you know that ip address generally we say protocols you know there is something called protocol protocols so we know the basic definition of protocol protocol is a set of rules which a user has to follow so protocol is a set of rules which a user has to follow in order to have a proper communication so just like if you want to communicate with each other we need to follow some uh, standard language like we use a common language English which is a standard language for communication similar way when you talk about network and networking there are different types of protocols used in our networks <clears throat> like initially uh, if you go to earlier days of networking like in 1970s 80s there are different protocols used we got tc 5 u protocols which was developed by department of defense and then there is a protocol called netbios netview which was a protocol designed by microsoft for communication with Microsoft operating system devices and we have a NetBi NetBIOS uh, just now we wrote so we have some IPX SPX protocols developed by novel machines novel network operating systems and then we have some Apple talk protocols which was developed by Apple machines for which is used in Apple diff different app missions so just to say there are a few protocols apart from this there's a big list of protocols but even though we have different types of protocols like these protocols are like different languages like you know so this protocol is a separate language this is separate language this is separate language this is separate language so everyone was using their own protocols for communication if Microsoft want to communicate Microsoft use their own language NetBIOS protocol and novel uses its own language and your Apple machines uses its own language so everyone had their own uh, set of protocols but later on they made this 
TCP/IP has been made as a standard language. Standard means you know like English we have a standard language which is most commonly used. So similar way they made TCP/IP as a standard language because of one reason, because because we can say internet, because the internet which is the biggest network in the world where everyone is connected. You know the requirements of it. You know the uh, advantages of internet so in case if I'm using a Windows XP operating system and Windows XP operating system is your Windows operating system is developed by Microsoft so it's a Microsoft operating system so Microsoft by default supports NetBIOS but if I want this Microsoft operating system should be able to connect to internet and it can exchange information then my device has to mandatory support a TCP IP protocols because TCP IP the internet works on TCP IP so which means later on they made mandatory that even if you are using Apple machines so when you install the operating system by default it comes with TCP IP protocols so that is something which uh, has been made mandatory by everyone that makes my TCP IP protocol as a standardized protocol so we don't use of any of these protocols much and we don't really need to understand how these protocols behave, what are the different inbuilt protocols into that. So just we need to learn the TCP IP addressing. So we need to understand different protocols of TCP IP. If you talk about HTTP, generally we access web pages. HTTP is a protocol. When you're sending and receiving the files, FTP is a protocol which is used for sending and receiving the files. Uh, when you're sending and receiving the mails, we have SMTP protocol, simple mail transfer protocol. Uh, pop3 protocol imap protocol there are different protocols which are so these are all inbuilt protocols inside tcp ip like we have a dns service if you talk about dns dhcp like you know dns service is just like you know uh, whenever we send a request let's say let's say if i'm like you know dns is actually an inbuilt protocol inside tcp ip which is going to convert your name to IP address. So we'll get into more in detail about these protocols. But now the first topic which are going to see. So the protocol which we are going to use in our network for communication is TCP IP transmission control protocol, internet protocol. So now whatever the addressing. So before we get into this, 